What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our second Lord of the Rings draft. Um, we did our first one. We went 7-2, which is very satisfying. Legolas Counter of Kills. Four mana for a 2-3. Whenever you scry, if Legolas Counter of Kills is tapped, you may untap it. Do this only once each turn. Whenever a creature in opponent controls dies, put a one on counter. That's pretty good. Uh, what's our rare? Call of the Ring. At the beginning of your upkeep, the ring tempts you. Whenever you choose a creature as your ring bearer, you may pay two life if you do draw a card. Is that good? That seems good. Every turn you get to choose a creature as your ring bearer, so you get to switch it, and your the ring is see again like this is a situation where like the ring is tempting you every single turn, but there's no downside. You just get all the abilities in four turns, and then like at a certain point you're drawing like you're just you're. Uh, not at a certain point, but like you're eventually just drawing a card every turn for two life if you want to. I mean, I'm definitely going to take that because it seems pretty good. The other thing I was going to say is this is a best of three draft. I mean, like we, we mentioned that the, the best of one is ranked and I kind of liked that aspect of it. That being said, I just definitely have more fun playing best of three. I feel like I'm playing three cohesive rounds, which you are. And that's, that's just, just more, more enjoyable, enjoyable to me. To me. Like, like, I don't know. I feel I like, like the, content the content is also more condensed, condensed as well. Like, it's just a better visual experience if you're just playing three rounds. Yeah, the ring should turn you into a shriveled weirdo. Yeah, I agree. It's very weird that there's no downside whatsoever. Three, three, four, four. Whenever another creature control dies, put a one on counter on it. If that creature was a goblin orc, put two counters on it. That seems very good. Three, three, four, four. Whenever you attack, there's so many three, threes for four, dude. Uh, lost to legend. Put a target non-land historic permanent into its owner's library, fourth from the top. That's fine. Deals one damage to each of two creatures or exile. I think we're just gonna go with this guy. When it enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. That's also decent, but I think this guy's just really, probably pretty strong. Whenever two more creatures, oh, this is this one's this one's good. Um, in traditionally in limited formats, when you have a bird, that when you attack with it, it gives another creature flying. Those are very good, and this is the same thing. Whenever two or more creatures you control attack, only this is actually even better, because you can you can attack with two creatures that aren't this. So this guy, you can play this guy and attack with two creatures that were already in play and give one of those flying, which is pretty cool. Uh, destroy a creature, the ring tempts you. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nasty end is fine. I mean, I'm just gonna stick with this. We're just gonna we're gonna get so tempted here. But yeah, stay tempted. <clears throat> destroy an artifact or land, creatures offline can't block. We definitely lost to this in our first round. Or first draft, rather. Uh Gandalf's Sanction it deals X damage to target creature where X is number rinse and sorcery cards in graveyard. Excess damage is dealt to there. So it has trample. Why not just put trample on a spell? Everyone's gonna know what it means and you can even define it. Like this could say trample, Gandalf sanction deals X damage to target creature where X is the number of rinse and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Like that last sentence can just be omitted by putting trample on spells. Your voice is getting echoey. Oh, I have uh I have the other mic on, I'm sorry. Let me know if this fixes it. This guy seems fine. I mean, it's just a big idiot. Uh, target creature gets plus three, plus three. Oh, it's, this, is just, this is just a, your common combat trick if it's legendary against Trample. It's fine. Plus one, plus one, first strike. If it's an orc, it also gains haste. Um, I actually like this quite a bit. It's a one, one flyer that makes a two, two. I wasn't complaining, but yes, it is fixed. Um, I acknowledge that you were not complaining. Nonetheless, still not ideal. You draw a card and lose a life amass one. So this is literally just Dusk Legion Zealot, right? Except it makes, sometimes it's not going to make a creature because you'll have a Mordor, you'll have an orc. Return a creature from your greater hand, the ring tempts you. I, I don't think the ring tempting us is going to be that hard to do i think we're taking this guy i i think just making a one one on turn two and drawing a card is pretty good plus the it, it combos with like oogluck 
This is actually really good. Your typical draw two by discarding one, but then it also makes a one one. That's not bad. This is also an orc. Is this guy orcs and goblins? That's pretty good. Shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna take the quarrels end, and the reason is I I just think being able to draw cards in the in the non blue decks is really strong. Oh, the old bath song. Draw two cards and discard a card. Draw two cards and discard a card. So you're drawing four and discarding two, which is pretty good. Shuffle any number of cards from your graveyard in your library and add two blue. That's not bad. Yes, Elvish Visionary. It's funny, I'm comparing them to... Well, Dust Legion Zealot is actually the exact card, right? Whereas Elvish uh, Visionary doesn't have the life loss. Sacrifice so an artifact or creature to deal four to any target. That's... What? Please try again later. <laughs> what? Oh, dear Jesus. Whenever a war beast of Gorgoroth or another creature you control with power greater four dies, mass discard was seemed very good. And then we have Lifelinger Indestructible or, uh, yeah. Did I miss any picks? I don't think so. Now everything is what I want it to be. Excellent artifact or deal one damage up to two target creatures. Yeah, that's good. That's a good sideboard card. We are playing best of three. Sack a creature, again, works well with Ugluck, and especially being an instant is nice. So, when is Lord of the Rings, the movies, Magic the Gathering? <laughs> Lord of the Rings, colon, colon, the movies, colon, Magic, colon, the Gathering. Come on. That's a good question. I don't have an answer for you, though. Uh, Gimli's Fury. Rush the Room was the plus one, plus one on first strike, but if it's a Goblin Orc against Haste... I'm, I'm fine with either of those. Target creature gains plus one, plus two, and death touch, and you make a food. That's also fine. Horn of Gondor. When it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier token. Create X soldier tokens for X the number of humans you control. This seems good. Like, really good. The problem is if we lose a human, we just don't have any way to do anything with it because i'm gonna i'm gonna feel like there's very few humans in this in this color combination we can definitely take some i mean we just have to take it right each one to sacrifice a creature create a food for each sacrifice this way the second man of four four flyer that makes them sacrifice a creature is also very good i mean i'm just gonna take it because i it feels very strong and i'm not Stupid. It reminds me of Street Fighter the movie the game. Oh my god, I remember Street Fighter the movie the game. That was hilarious. I also remember it had Raul Julia and Jean-Claude Van Damme on the front. I guess it had the whole cast on there. Alright, what do we got here? Tale of Tin Tinuville. Tinuville. Doesn't matter. Whenever a Goblin Orc deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice it when you do either draw a card or create a token. I, I think the, the versatility there is nice, and it also triggers other things. 1-1 uh, one, one with Menace. When it dies, the ring tempts you. Another bird. I think it might be just this guy. It also triggers for himself as well. Like, it's nice to be able to ramp. Uh, add two mana in combination. Spell this mana only to cast legendary spells. No, I don't think we're going to need that. That movie was not great. And unfortunately, Raul Julia, I think he died shortly. Maybe not shortly after, actually. Let's, let's find out. Street Fighter the movie release was 1994. 
I think I remember him having like issues. Yeah, and he died in October of the same year, of October ninety four. Yeah, I, I think I remember that movie being difficult for him to film because, um, of medical reasons. I think it was cancer, wasn't it? Yeah, he had stomach cancer. Uh, neg two, neg two. Exile from your grave in the ring tempts you. That's actually really good. That's just a dismember. Yeah, let's go with the dismember. Which member? Dismember. Mines of Moria. Enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a legendary creature. Otherwise, it just it's just a mountain. But then you can exile three cards from your river to create two treasure tokens. Or we could take another golem's bite, which seems good. Negative three and has at the beginning of your upkeep, exile this creature unless you pay two life. Oh man, this is how I find out Raw Julie. Spoiler alert. Hashtag spoiler alert. Stuart, what's going on, buddy? Uh you cast the instant sorcery, he does one damage to each opponent. I think it's just Golem's Bite again. Is that good? It's probably fine. I have man, I all my days are days, so I think I know your feeling, but you'll have to tell me about it. As long as you control a goblin or orc, it gets plus one plus oh. So this is just the actually this guy seems great. Get busy snarling, am I right? I was almost eaten by a bear, a literal bear. Hmm. Not great, Bob. Not great. So I uh, scry one and then draw cards. One less. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Four damage again. Is this you can sacrifice an artifact as well? That's pretty good. Oh, God, I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was Hunter gagging on something, and it was very unpleasant. I actually don't know what it just took. Oh, it took the card I wanted. That's good. Uh, we have a nasty end. I don't think I want a second one. This guy's reasonable. What does Rally do? Create two one one white human soldier tokens. Interesting. I actually kind of like that because of Horn. Like playing that into Horn seems decent. How many four drops do we have? I'm gonna take it. Rising of the day. Legendary creatures you control get plus one plus O. Oh. I want this beautiful. Hold on, let me let me let me find these picks. Sacrifice another creature, draw a card, then create a food token. Okay. Or can't be blocked except by three more creatures, and then you got swamp cycling as well. That's it's initial cost. Yeah, actually, this card's good. I went to this beautiful... Dang it, I'm trying to read it, but then I'm like, oh, wait, I still have picks. I'm the ADD in full effect right now. Um, I'll just take the bird. I think we're going to have a lot of uh, playables. I went to this beautiful park just outside Boston. It's called World's End, and it's basically in a ritzy suburb. Not ritzy enough for the bears. Yeah, I'll just take another one of these. The ranger there is like, hey, there's a bear here today. And they warned me what area to avoid. <laughs> uh, and you're like, I didn't avoid it. I wonder if the format of pirate that says target orc on or pirate is unblockable is good enough to splash for. What color is it? Oh, what do we got here? Shagrat loot bearer. Four, 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 four again. Whenever it attacks, attach up to one equipment to it, then amass orcs X, where X is the number of equipment attached to it. So, okay, so you didn't actually almost get eaten by a bear. You had an adequate warning. However, it is funny that they said it like that, where he's like, oh, hey, there's a bear here today. Like, it's a special guest. You guys aren't going to believe it. There's a bear here today, all the way from Canada. He came today. He's here for you guys. It's from the Mordor set. By Mordor, do you mean Lord of the Rings? I guess we're just taking the the rare legendary guy. And... Look at this pirate. 
That's a pirate. Don't try to trick me. Uh, Mordor Trebuchet. Don't care about you. Another rally. Hmm. Create a treasure and make it. This is just a 2-2 that makes a treasure. That's interesting. I'll take it, but I don't love it. Oh, the story continues. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're not done yet. Ah, another Lash of the Balrog, huh? Target creature and opponent controls deals damage to its power equal to another creature. Give me that ring, you little bitch. Smite the Deathless. Deals three damage to target creature. Loses an indestructible if that creature would... Oh, yeah, that's that's just a... That's just a banana banger, as I say. Torment of Golem. Reel your hand. I choose a non-land card. You discard to make a 2-2. Two -two. Hmm. What's our... I, I mean, we have a ton of two drops and three drops right now, so I'm pretty comfortable there. Destroy an artifact or a land. Creatures, yeah, we know that one. I'll take another Uruk High. Oh dear God, this story is getting wild. The problem is you don't want to use this tap ability on your 4-5, unless there's like the board stall is just super real. So this only cast legendary creature spells. Uh, I mean, it's still a four or five for five. Like whether I'm going to activate its ability to make a treasure and draw a card is okay. So I'm setting up the picnic blanket on the other side of the expanse of water from where the bear is supposedly. Uh, our turn of creature card from Grave of the Ring tempts you. I don't think I have a Sam's Desperate, which means I might just be fine taking it. Yeah, that's fine. None of these cards are exciting. That's unfortunate. Rise of the Witch King. Each player sacrifices a creature. If you sacrifice a creature this way, you may return another permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's neato. The Black Breath. Creatures are put in control with negative one, negative one. The ring tempts you. Sure. Sideboard card. Number two. Oh god, this... Eventually I'll finish this story. Whenever you create a sacrifice token, you can lose one life. Oh, that's actually really sweet. This reminds me of Falconrath Noble. Especially with all the amass tokens. Wow. Getting a couple of those would be amazing. I don't care about Trebuchet, right? 1-4 with for 3. Whenever you attack with one or more goblins, create a 2-1 call its construct artifact creature token with flying. Actually... That's pretty good. It's not terrible. Sure. I'll take another Oliphant. Another Timothy Oliphant. Torment of Gollum. Okay, you can go on the sideboard. Beautiful. Wow, that's a late pick, Gwahir the Wind, Gwahir the Wind Lord. The bat. Oh, the bat. Yes. The bat. The Batman. Uh and then I and then hey, I see a bear. Amazing, wonderful. What luck to see this bear. And at a safe distance. Oh look, the bear is getting in the water. How funny. Oh look, the bear is hey, um, it's beelining for me. <laughs> oh dear Jesus. That's a good story so far. I'm looking forward to, to what happens next. These are fine five drops. Okay, there's a twist. Snarling Warg, I like you. Fires, I like you. I like having one of these. Horn, I like a coral. I like that. I like having one of those. I like that. Probably cut one of you. Okay, this is going to be where our, the majority of our cuts come from. You can get out of here, too. Seditional cost. Yep, that's a good one. Return a creature from your graveyard or hand. 
I don't care about Shalob's ambush, let alone two Shalob's ambush. Call is good. That guy's good. That guy's okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, also Nasty End is a lot better because of, obviously, the ring, right? Like, you get to, you get to make legendary creatures for, for just fun. <sighs> Where can I find a nice print of those lands? God, I need them on my empty walls. This deck does look sweet. Okay, now there's a twist to the story. Because the entire time, I'm on a fairly significant dose of mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. You know, every day, Stuart, it's funny, to, it's funny to see where your life is at. It could go any direction, really. Okay, deals three. Two, one, one, white humans. I do want that. Uh, we can probably take one club out. I don't know if I care. How many, how many creatures is this? This is 11 creatures, but it doesn't include... Oh my god. I literally don't... Like, why is this still here? This has to be an error, right? Should I just restart? I'm going to try to... Uh, I'm going to save my deck first, and then I'll restart. Because this just shouldn't be here. This has to be an error, right? Because, like, Mordor M Muster is a creature. Uh, Rally is a creature. I think we could take out Mortal Knife Wound. It's kind of unimpressive. Um, this makes another creature. So it's two creatures. This makes a 1-1 one, one white human, which is nice for our, our horn. Horn also makes a creature. God, I need three more cuts? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not super impressed with Gimli's Fury. I think I just wanted something that gets us through a little bit. I also don't really care about Battle Scarred Goblin, but I think it's just a fine two drop. This is still 42 cards. We still need two more cuts. Yeah, that's true. Ambush does seem like a better combat trick. Like, it's always going to kill the creature you're blocking. Or or that's being blocked. I, maybe we can take out Fire. I'm not super excited about it. If it turns out, like, we really need that. I mean, Shagrat is kind of meh. Like, it's never going to trigger. We never have any equipment for it. But, like, it's still a 4-4 for 4. And it's a legendary creature, so it's kind of, like, not terrible. I mean, it does trigger War Beast of Gorgoroth. <clears throat> Maybe just play 41. I'm fine with that. We have a pretty low curve. Done. <clears throat> All right, let me restart real quick. Okay, I restarted just to. If I click play, is it just going to go to my. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Got it. Nope, that's not where I'm at. Okay, home. Play. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Hunter is sitting behind me, <clears throat> chewing his nails, and then hacking up once he's done. It's really, it's really jarring. He makes this really. He has like this this old dog thing where he does uh, it's like a it's like a I don't want to say it's a disease but it's like uh it's just a thing old dog some old dogs get and it causes him to like gag and like cough really loudly and he keeps doing it and it's driving me like it's so jarring and I love him to death and he's behind me but like every time he does it it's like so jarring Oh uh, yeah this is good and so, like, if he does it again, I'm just gonna be like, Hunter, I love you, but you gotta go. You gotta, you gotta go out into the hallway or go into the living room here. Uh, 
Golem's Bite is an instant, so we'll leave with this guy. <clears throat> I avoided being eaten by an overlarge raccoon. <laughs> overlarge, is that what we're saying nowadays? Oh, this makes hasty humans? Well, that's cool. Get him. Let me draw that horn. Give me that horn. Oh, what up, Bill Ferry? <clears throat> well, that was not a horn. I I don't I don't like it. Maybe he just needs a lozenge. That's true. Later in the day, a very aggressive turkey came at me, and I was like, "Bro, I stared down a goddamn bear. You do not scare turkeys are are wild, man." And not just wild turkeys, all turkeys. Turkeys are like geese in that like they can be, they're just overly aggressive sometimes, you know? <clears throat> Nimrodle Watcher, whenever you scry, it gets plus one plus oh and can't be blocked, sure. Oh, yeah, there we go. The Tom. Yes, that's what they're called. Oh, yeah, the Tom turkeys. Eventually left into the brush, but four of his little lady friends stuck around and hung out with me for a bit. Oh, boy. Stuart, you've got some crazy adventures. Don't do it, Hunter. Don't do it. Okay, so you got some wizard's rockets. <clears throat> Oh, I should have. I think I should have killed him. I guess I still can't. Okay, hold on. He got to go. Okay. Um. I guess it actually doesn't matter, right? Because, like, we would have only. Um, uh, made him unblockable. So that doesn't really. It's not even relevant. That being said, I would kind of like to use the ability now. It's just like, I, <clears throat> it's such a jarring noise. It's like, ah, and it's just like it's it's like he's got something caught in his throat. He doesn't. It's just I I can't I can't remember what Katie told me it was, but it's just like an old dog thing. Like he's got an old dog thing where it's like I don't know. Anyway, so like I wouldn't mind it, but it's such a jarring noise. What is this? The book of Maserable. God, dude, I. The words in Lord of the Rings are so hard to pronounce. Amass one and amass two, then creatures you control at plus one, plus one. Plus one, plus O oh, in Menace, sure. Stuart, how did you get home? Also, I'm really shocked that you did so well with your animal adventure when you were, uh, let's say, inebriated. Oh, we just won the game. Okay. Sounds good. 
Uh, creatures are prone control. Can, but yeah, we're definitely bringing in one of those. We can take out Sam's Desperate Rescue. Like, we saw two creatures from them and an amass token. So, three creatures with one toughness. Now we wait. I rode the bear home, obviously. I took the train there and back, you know, so I could avoid driving or riding a bicycle. Yeah, that's that that's what I was curious about, really. <clears throat> also, tra having trains is cool. I feel like if there were trains in Colorado, I'd probably love taking them because they're they'd be just super scenic. There's actually a ton of trains in Colorado and you can hear them all the time, but they're not like commuter trains, they're all just like supply trains. I think we're I think we're good to go. I think we're doing it. All right. <clears throat> uh, this seems like a keeper. Got a little removal spell, two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop, three lands. Beautiful. I think our opponent went to six. Five. Four. Five? I have no idea. Okay. Good games. Everybody played hard. <laughs> I mean, of course, when you're doing best of three and this happens, it's not the best uh, representation. But, you know, that could easily happen in best of one. And, you know, players might even be more inclined for that to happen in best of one because it's less of a, I guess, loss, you know? You're, you're, you're giving up less by giving up one of seven games than you are of giving up one of three games. So... Oh, give me that horn. Getting a little horny here. You know what I mean? I feel like if you play this on three and then start activating it to make two tokens and then three tokens and then four tokens. Wait, no, that's even, this is even better. No, it, it, I guess it's not. It does make four tokens, but then you make five tokens and have five tokens. So this feels like a card that if you can't deal with it, you just absolutely get utterly destroyed. So I guess we'll find out. I'm killing that guy now because I just want to have as much breathing room as possible for when this goes this goes online. It's also nice that the bounce spell does not bounce tokens. Fascinating. Sad that I do have to activate this. See, I didn't know that, I didn't know that was a card. Otherwise, I wouldn't have attacked.
When you were drafting this deck, did you feel any intention to essentially flavor draft according to the story? I did not. So we make one, and then we make two, and then we make three, but we're taking a lot of damage in between those periods. So I think we're actually just going to put a three, four into play. Fantastic. I guess we're taking six here. I would love the card that puts two humans into play and then gives all our humans haste. A gore bag. Fascinating. So we could just play both of these guys. Three mana, huh? Sure. Yep, that'll do it. Main deck. <laughs> Main deck cast into the fire. One thing I do love about MTG Arena is how high resolution these cards are. Like, everything is so crisp and detailed. What is this guy? Menace? Oh, it can't be blocked by by the Haya boys. Sure. That was an easy decision. So it feels like we're a little behind. Improvised club makes a uh, this a lot better with with this human token that we know is not going to get any benefit from the horn. All right. I don't think we're pitching this yet because we have, not pitching, but playing because we have something to pitch it to. We do have like the uh, draw two, discard a card. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> yep, that's, that's the one. That is the one. Well, let's do one black because we have lots of things we can draw. What up, Disco Do? Disco Do doesn't advertise. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these guys back. I mean, they're gonna make a 3 3, and like. I'd rather just block and trade. 
<laughs> the literal one ring. Uh, you gain protection from everything until your next turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose a life for each burden counter on the one ring. Put a burden counter on it, then draw a card for each burden counter on it. Sure. Well, you gain protection from everything until your next turn. So that's something. You're using control plus one plus plus O and gain menace. Sure, that's fine. Gonna leave this here for anyone who hasn't experienced it yet. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen this, but I'll watch it after this. This seems insane. I mean, it's very very dangerous, right? Like, they take two next turn, but then they get to draw three and take three. There's so many cards, man. Menace, huh? Uh, boy. Sure. What does this guy do? Whenever you draw your second card, put a 1 1 counter on it. Sure. Which you will definitely be doing. Seems fair. <laughs> Decent trade. And they could draw three here, but then they go to two next turn. Oh yeah, blinking the one ring seems insane. Wow, four wow, four mana for that when you have nothing on board. <laughs> oh, fucking amazing. That's incredible. good so they die next turn seems good are they losing to the one ring because that's kind of funny they just have to kill me this turn or get rid of their one ring well we'll see nope they died <laughs> they lost to their own one ring also knowing they have the horn yep we're definitely bringing in cast into the fire that's good to know Uh, giving their creatures negative one, negative one when they have a bunch of one ones. They don't actually have a ton of one power, one toughness creatures. Like the only ones we saw were literally from the one or, or from the horn, right? Destroy an artifact or a land. I mean, it doesn't get rid of the one ring, but it does get rid of their other, their other duder. I think we can take this out. They're they're a little bit aggressive. Cut that. I kind of just want to play fires. Like being able to get rid of horn is pretty good and also gets a free attack. So we'll see. 
I imagine that is what Sauron thought was going to happen to the Fellowship. Oh, it didn't kill him. Well, that's unfortunate. Man, losing to the One Ring is fantastic. See, that's flavorful. Now that's flavor. Player horn this turn. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, decline. Although if they play the one ring right now, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little a little unfun. All right, what are we looking at here? When you do, Frey of Orcs deals X damage to target creature where X is the amassed army's power. Okie dokie. Being able to keep up a black and one in the future would be nice uh, to be able to sack this guy to draw three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Would they triple block this guy? I doubt it, man. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, I didn't think so. Please don't use all of my black. Why would you use all the black mana when I have two black cards in hand and two mountains? Explain it to me. <laughs> like, what are you thinking? I'm at, oh, that nah, was, I, I, sometimes I go to read the chat and I'm like, oh wait, we've already seen this one. We've already seen this episode. Uh, no blocks, I'll take four. I don't want to get rid of this human yet because, I mean, we might just draw our horn and then we're, then we're going to get a little horny. Oh, that's fascinating. This is any target, which is definitely worth keeping. I'm also I'm also very tempted to just kill this guy here. But I think I'm going to keep up Nasty End. And then I'll, I'll just kill it when it's a 5-5. Five five. All right. Right as rain. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> Seems good. 2-0. Our opponent died to their own ring. That's satisfying. If anyone ever wonders why I like Frank's stream, I come for the hallucinogenic bear stories and the fun times. Often which go hand in hand. All right, can we... 3-0. Do we get a loss here? How does this work? I, I thought you could have one loss, but now it doesn't say like the losses. Usually there's two loss boxes. And then like, you know, when you win one. Or when you lose one, it fills up, and then the other one, you, and then it's over, you know? 
Unless I'm thinking of... Yeah, I think it's one loss, right? Is it not? Is it no losses? Is it single limb? I don't know. Probably. After I abandoned my picnic spot, the ranger was like, you didn't leave any food there, did you? And while I did not, I momentarily regretted not leaving some shrooms for the... <laughs> That's terrible. You're a, you're a menace to the park. America's National Park Service is disappointed in you. Nick Joseph, have a good night, buddy. Or don't. You know what? I don't want to. I don't want to preach to you. You know, if you want to, go ahead. If you don't, I get it. He would have had a great day. I guess when you're an apex predator, there's no real danger of getting high AF in the woods. You know. Oh wow, that was good. Uh, easy game, easy life. Uh, we're going to play the swamp here because we want to keep up Gollum's bite. Gollum. Could have been the sequel to Coke Bear. Don't call it Coke Bear. <laughs> Whenever you cast a second spell each turn, amass two Orcarinos. Okay. Yeah, we can just keep pitching lands here, huh? Hey, a pitch of the lands, huh? Also, I want to stress that this was not in the woods. This was a bear basically rolling up on a suburban lawn by the ocean. I feel like that is worse for the bear, though, because, like, if a bear's all shroomed up in a suburban area, that dude's probably going to get penalized in some way, we'll say. I'm tempted to just block this Sauron. Sauron. Yeah, I'm going to block the Sauron. Oh, dang. You made a fool out of me, sir. I don't know if we want to make bears more hungry than normal, you know? That feels like a bad time. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what we can do, we can just sack this guy to Lash of the Balrog. Which feels correct. And then we can actually kill this guy. I think we kill this guy first. Attack for two. Oh no, this guy's untapped. Oh god, we've made a terrible mistake. Oh god, there was a reason I did that the way I did it. Oh god. That's that's terrible. Oh, they didn't block. Significantly less terrible now. Do you want to target Sormont? Yes. Should have kept a red up. I didn't realize we were able to play our land this turn. There was a lot going on, you know? Yep, 
sure. 4-4. Four, four. Yep. 1-1. One, one. Mm, take it. So yeah, we could smite on our turn if we actually kept it up. But I think we're still doing okay. Oh, Trebuchet seems like it's going to be a winner. We're at 19, they're at 6. We have a creature that can be blocked by creatures of power tougher than it, and we have a 2 power creature and a 2 1 flying creator. Hopefully, what I said just made sense. I have no idea. Accidental bluff is the best bluff. They were like, oh shit, he's got combat trick. That would be able to kill my Saruman. Yeah, I mean, if I had the plus one, plus two, and death touch, like, it's very, very good for me if they block. So it's like, it's definitely worth it to just take two for them. That's cool. You just made a two one. Oh, five, six, and now he's got reach too. Yeah, okay. All righty then. So you can block here or here, probably here. Or goblins and or orcs. This is definitely worth playing pre-combat, for sure, because then we can attack with this guy. They can't block here, so they have to block with their Kingfisher. Oh yeah, easy. Easy game. Fair trade. This card and this card are kind of insane together. We do need another orc or a goblin, but... Oh, wait. No, we don't. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, and it made a token, too, so now they're at four. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mirkwood Bats is pretty wild. Good lord. Oh, I think they got a... I mean, they they have to have a fight card if they're, if they're blue-green. They can bounce something, but... All our cards are pretty susceptible. Or, uh... The opposite of susceptible. Pretty pretty immune to bounce spells. Still got this golem's bite in our graveyard. Yep. And they had a fight card, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Uh, fantastic. Ooh, what is that? Draw a card and lose a life and amass one. Oh, this is actually what we were hoping to draw last turn. Because if we drew this, we just get our bat back, which is pretty nuts. <sighs> yeah, I think we just get our bat back here and pass, or we can golem's bite. I mean, this is just a free point. Oh, yeah, we're definitely discarding that guy if we have a choice. Irregardless. <laughs> no, don't do that. Target creature deals... Yeah, sure. Two fight cards in your hand. Great. Oh, this is a, this is a bite, not a fight. Fantastic nonetheless. And now they're at seven again because of the food. Wonderful. I 
Is this two mana? Man, two mana for a one one that makes a mana of any color, but then also gives you plus three, plus three, and trample in the late game is really sweet. Very aggressive. No blocks. You got it. Cool. Oh boy. <laughs> Fantastic. They just literally have like fucking four answers in a row. Amazing. Apparently we're here for a long time, not a good time. So, three, four, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. That doesn't do it. Interesting. Yep, go to six, two turn clock. Wow, this game was going really well until they made one food, had three removal spells. Got trample? No. Which is good for us. <laughs> this gives him trample though, so I guess that's the thing. But I guess we could just block with our trebuchet at that point. <sighs> Drawing horn here could be very good. They have two cards, we can block. This guy's going to be a five, six, seven, eight. So we have to block with Trebuchet, which seems fine. But then we make two tokens. I mean, if they want to use their turn doing this, I'm totally fine with it. Just use your little turn. I mean, then we take four and go to two. Yeah, I think the only the only problem with Merkwood Bats is we don't gain life. But... I did... I also thought they were done for. But here we are. Whenever one or more halflings you control Thank attack you. a player, make a food token, sure. Oh, I will dominate. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome. Good seeing you, my dude. Did we already play the card that makes two one ones? Because that would be actually bananas here. Do you have another fight spell? Is the last card in the hand a fight spell? And they're just like, do I kill a token? Me, no, no. It was a land. I'm just activating this now. 
So they're at three. They block here. They block here. They take one. God, the reach is really obnoxious. I mean, they're dead on board. What? <laughs> I guess that's fine, right? I mean, we have chump blockers. Who knows if that's fine? So this is what? Six, four, five, six, seven. Still on their whole turn. Six, seven, eight, nine. So they're at nine. We have to block four of it. So we can block with the bat and one token. That doesn't seem good, right? Oh, we also have to block other creatures, I guess, as well, so. Oh, the tokens dying does kill them. You're smart. I keep forgetting it's both on... No, it's whenever you create or sacrifice a token. It, they won't die. It's not when they leave the battlefield. Yeah, that's that's a that's kind of a big distinction. Oh, that's great for us though. They might not know that. One, two, three, four, five, six. You don't have the oh, you don't have the mana to do it now. Interesting. Man, I feel like we're just chump blocking here. Sure. I mean, if you have no cards in hand, actually, so. This costs seven. You have six mana. Okay, I think they just figured it out. They're like, oh no, I don't have the mana now. Well, that was pretty good. Oh boy. Definitely tempted to bring in Cast into the Fire again because they did have multiple shooties, bows. What up, Poke Mooney? Or Pokemon y? <laughs> hard to say. Hard to say. Yeah, I have enjoyed this set so far. It's not. It's not bad. There's a lot of a lot of words. This as far as sets go, this might be up there for like one of the highest word counts in a set. I don't know if I love Call of the Ring. I wish it did something when it came into play. Like the fact that you play it and like it doesn't trigger till your next upkeep. And like you have to have a one drop in order for it to even trigger then, right? So you you play it on two. You go to turn three. During your upkeep, you have no creatures, let's say. I mean, it's going to tempt you, but you don't get to draw an extra card. So then you maybe play a guy on three, and then on turn four, you get to draw an extra card. It's not terrible. It is a passive card that just sits there and, like, gives you some some benefit. What's a vanilla creature? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Feeling like a little kid. I'm just standing after all this time. Ring -a -ring -a -ring -a -ring -a -ring I, I, it was a joke. I, I know what a note. I know what a vanilla creature is. <laughs> uh, I've been a professional magic player for about 15 years now. So I'm, I was just I was just making a joke because I haven't seen one in. Uh, like six years so <laughs> like you're know, like uh that's a creature with no text on it it might have flavor text but no actual abilities and i was just like for real wild oh no oh no no that's the one i wanted oh i missed out okay i think it's fine i don't think it's fine I'm a little sad. I wish I was quicker. Mm, actually, yes. <laughs> uh, listen here, youngster. 
I think there was something recently. I think there was one recently, which is really funny to say. I think there was one vanilla creature recently. I agree with you. I think that did happen. Come on, lands. Papa needs his lands. Picking up the pieces of my So we can just kill this and they don't get their guy. That's kind of cool. And by get their guy, it means they don't draw a card, you know? Uh, I'm going to decline. I don't think we're there yet. Oh boy, look at this fat daddy. Fat daddy, would you like to? I wish I had some lands here, but I don't. That's very sad. Where are my lands? Want to trade? Come at me, bro. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Whose creature is better? You know what I'm saying? His was, his was better. I do need to get some cards here. Um, I, I think we're... Oh, God. So sacrificing this guy draws us two cards. But this guy just naturally draws us one card. We don't have to get rid of this. I think we just need the two cards. Wait, what? Why was he legendary? What? Oh, this guy's legendary. Why would he be legendary? I didn't even know. Oh, that's wild. Oh, that's just great. We're having a great time. Back from a meeting, are we still talking about bears? I think the bear conversation has unfortunately ended. I think I kind of just want to get rid of Call of the Ring. I, I don't like it, but everything else seems really good. That card seems like it could maybe put more good stuff in our hand. Oh, Jesus Christ. 4-4 four, for four, 4. Whenever you scry, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of up to X target creatures, where X is the number of cards looked at. So if you scry 3, that's disgusting. Jesus Christ, that's really good. Well, I guess I'm going to kill that immediately. Doesn't have war, right? No, thank Jesus. Oh, God. I would have cried. Oh, good. You got your Elrond back. Fantastic. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, phenomenal. Maybe they don't have a way to scry, you know? Mm, boy, that's really... It's unfortunate. There should be a bear that you can tap to steal a food token. That would be a, that's a flavor win. That's going to be in the Hanna-Barbera secret layer, no doubt. I guess we'll go to five life here and get rid of the all the, the Elrond, because I bet they get him back again. I bet they're just going to play another revive. Okay, that's fine. All right, these are all fine. None of these things are things I care about. Ba-da-da-da! 
No legends, right? Hashtag no legends. Mm, no attacks either. All right, we've stabilized, theoretically. Yeah, gain that life. Oh, boy. Phenomenal. We got seven mana? That's actually a good amount. So this works the number of legendary creatures. So it counts itself now, so it's going to be a 5-5. Five five. That's really obnoxious. Well, we're definitely playing this guy, and we're probably playing Horn. I guess we can play Horn next turn. And then activate at the same turn to make two tokens. Mike would have sung better. It's hurtful. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking mono answers dot deck over here, dude. Yep, got a block, because I'm at one. Just going to activate it now so you don't get a chance to, like, in response, bounce my guy if you draw a bounce spell or something. Well, unless this guy gets trampled at some point, I'm feeling a little bit stabilized. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually play five mana guy and still make two tokens, or one token rather. No attacks. I mean, this doesn't, this isn't great for us. Five, seven is actually humongous. This is sad. I'm having a sad day. So you had a sad day. No, me don't mind. We could just double block here and then block here and we still get to keep a token, I guess. I mean, they're just going to play the stupid bow because they have two of them and we haven't seen one yet and they always have an answer. So that's going to be... That's going to be a fun day. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Fantastic. Give me that card that makes two one ones. Mountain. Sounds good. What does this do? Nothing. Got it. Why do I have to go into a menu to concede? That's really weird. That's really weird UI. Okay. Shalab's Ambush actually seems pretty decent against them because they have a lot of big fat idiots. I might like it better than one Golem's Bite. This guy was also kind of meh. I definitely don't feel like we're the aggro deck here. I feel like this is almost more controlling. Are bears just gorillas with full body beards? <laughs> oh dear Jesus. I 
I actually don't hate this. It's a two two for it's a two two for two for two two for four that makes them discard a card. Like and they have a lot of big we're on the play too. I think that's actually probably okay. Being able to make them get rid of like their biggest card is pretty decent. Well, this is a situation where we can definitely play Call of the Ring on turn two. Dude, we are so we are straight tempted right now. We have two five drops in hand. I don't think we're gonna claim the precious on this guy, but it's kind of a it's kind of obnoxious that we just don't get to do anything this turn. See that guy we can kill. Um, the problem is like they're gonna get they're gonna get rid of this guy and we're just gonna have nothing on board and they're gonna attack us for six, and then we're gonna play something and then they're gonna get rid of it and they're gonna attack us for six and like this is probably gonna be the end. I mean, I can't not block because I know they have this bow. I think you're winning 100%. We believe in you. We'll see. We'll see. What up? What up, Hat Nick? Hat Mike? Nick with hats? Hat Nicholas? Hatalus? Nick Hapazito? It's all going very well. Even when you lose, you're a winner. Boy, I've been a real winner this year, let me tell you. Oh, God. If we hit a land, I'm actually going to feel okay with playing this. If we don't hit a land, I'm going to feel real bad about playing this. I believe in the heart of the cards. Well, we got a card we can play at least, and that's... Isn't that the important part? Probably not. Yeah, this I feel way behind here. I was just sad, because I think this deck is really sweet. This, this is not a recorder. This is uh, one of the extension arms for an Elgato uh, flex mount. It's got a little ball at the end of this one. It's got the little the little side he goes in. A recorder. <laughs> yeah, no, no blocks. I guess I'll go to six because 
Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Fantastic. I will decline. Thanks. Hey, look, we found another land. Good for us. What can we do right now? Absolutely nothing because they have two flyers. Fantastic. Fun games. 2 1 in our traditional draft. Claim that. Yep. So I spent one fi spent fifteen hundred, got a thousand back. Fantastic. That's sustainable for sure. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think of this Lord of the Rings draft format, because I would love to hear your thoughts. And uh, be sure to follow or subscribe on both Twitch and YouTube. They're great ways to support the channel. And I'm trying to build both. So we'll see what happens. And thank you guys. And I'll see you next time. Really appreciate y'all. Bye.